You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Well, it's a tough evening here in College Park, Maryland. Blues is 56-53. It was a rock fight. Maryland was down by nine. They get all the way back. Couldn't get the tie. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. There's Bruce. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Guys, what do you think? Bruce, we'll go with you first. Well, it was a very disappointing loss. You don't have to say any more than that. A quad three loss. And uh, it's it's going to be tough now. It's really going to be tough. It almost comes down to two or three wins in the tournament, plus a good finish. In other words, you lose to this team. They were three and seven. I don't even know what their Ken Palm was. But you, you can't add up those losses. But you just can't shoot. I mean, when, when you shoot that poorly, you just can't win. They made a valiant effort at the end. They didn't stop fighting. I mean, it's not the effort. It's just putting the ball in the basket. That's been the problem the whole year. And it really rose up tonight to bite us. Mason, that was a heck of a defensive effort Maryland put out to get back in it. What would you see? Yeah, Bruce uh, hit the nail on the head. Just did not shoot the basketball well enough to win the game. This, this league, the refereeing, doesn't doesn't give you much on it. Juju Reese's free throw shooting really cost the Terps, but ultimately when it came down to it, another lackluster possession inside of 20 seconds where Maryland couldn't get a good look. Everybody in the building knows it's going to Jameer Young. Somebody else has to make a shot, and it just didn't happen today. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know. Rakeem Jarrett, it's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the big dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. It, it, it didn't, and there's you know, a couple good stat lines, but not much. Jameer Young ends up with 16 points, only three of 17 from the field. He gets 12 rebounds, makes all his free throws, eight of eight. Juju gets 19 points. He goes eight of 10, but as Mason said, only three of nine from the line. He also gets 12 rebounds. Somebody else has to be able to play basketball. Is it Dante Scott? Is it Jahari Long? Who do you have? Somebody, I know somebody else has to shoot the ball, but uh, what did Dante wind up with? Four, eight Four. points, eight right. points. Look, you can't go down by nine with three minutes left and think you're going to pull it out every time. You know, you got to get lucky, and they did. And Rutgers made a couple great plays down the wire, some drives to the basket. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, you score how many points at home? 53? 53. Right. And there's nothing to say. We just lost. But now we're five and seven. All right. Five and seven with eight games left. And uh, they're going to fight to get to 500, I believe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Maybe even leave it this way for tonight. Not too much more to say. The lack of awareness is something that's really starting to show. Deshaun here, Smith catches the ball down here with 17 seconds on the clock. You've got to get that ball up the court and get that timeout in. Same thing goes for the possession at the end of the game. You end up with a three foot behind the three-point line, three to tie it up. It's just the little things, the drive to the basket with under a minute left where Jameer Young gets beat. Nobody fouls. Nobody goes over to block the shot. At some point, at, at this deep into the season, with this many experienced top-tier basketball players or supposed to be top-tier basketball players, you just have to make those plays. Somebody has to have be in the game, but when the ball's not going in the basket, when the ball's not going in the goal, when the ball's not going in the end zone, no, nobody is smooth. Nobody is comfortable, and that constantly shows with this basketball team. I want to ask you a question, Wayne, all right? So, number five, Deshaun Howard-Smith had two points for the game. Number 12, Jamie Kaiser had two points. Is it, I, do you put somebody else in at the wire who can shoot? Now, Johari Long missed everything. Bachelor never got in the game. I mean, I'm not sure what you do with the situation. I know. Look, guys, there is nothing else. The problem is, and Mason said it near the end of the game, you almost look down and say, who's going to be here next year? Who's going to play for this team? Nobody else can shoot the ball. They have three guys. 
Uh, you know, I remember when uh, Brian Oliver, Kenny Anderson, and Dennis Scott came in here. Georgia Tech had three guys 25 years ago, but those three guys were outstanding. Oh, it's different. I, I saw Florida State when they joined the ACC have a couple guys. This isn't those guys. This isn't that time. We got a problem here. Well, you got the portal too, so you you have a you, you can find talent in the portal, and uh, listen, look for them to have a good game Saturday, four o'clock at Ohio State. I'm not sure why I believe that, but I do believe it. This was just a, a bad, bad game. The one thing I'm going to leave this with: I'll follow Mason's up last thing. A lot of people just leave here resigned at this point. There are more people who left the football games ticked off that are leaving the basketball games mad. That's my bad sign for tonight. Uh, it's still a great place to come. If you haven't been here this year, it's still a lot of fun. It just aren't winning the games like they used to. We go down 56-53 to Rutgers tonight. That's what we do.